Uh, Mike Kellams, the, the the plan the plan at this point is what for the NCAA tournament? Well, our one local team of interest just got bounced out by Old Dominion, so um, we're going to come back from New Orleans pretty quick um, since Notre Dame is out. We will stay in Milwaukee where we have the Big Ten champion Ohio State Buckeyes and your Big Ten tournament runner-up Minnesota Golden Gophers playing. It's an easy trip for us to go up to Milwaukee, uh, and so we'll do that. Um, we have uh, three other Big Ten teams playing tomorrow. We are not staffing them, but we'll keep our eyes on them, and if they get to be good, then we'll go check them out. Michigan State is usually a very good tournament team. They haven't been as good this season as in years past. Last year they played for the national championship and lost. But if they go on a good run, then we'll go catch up with them later. So that's where we are now. We have no teams of real strong local interest still in the tournament. We consider ourselves a, a very strong uh, news organization covering the Big Ten, and so we're going to be sort of spreading our waters a little bit and covering the Big Ten teams. Um, and Il uh, Illinois remains alive in the NIT, so we'll be with them as well. So, what is it like for the reporters that are covering these things, or where do they where do they go? How do they how do they see these games? How do they witness these games? Sure. So they're in the they're in the gym with everyone else. Um, there's extra media seating because it's, it's the NCAA tournament. There's a lot of interest, and a lot of places show up to cover their teams. Um, Brian Hamilton, who covered Notre Dame for us today, that was the first game of the day. He's now uh, checking out the later games. Baylor just played that has a local connection for us, and Scott Drew, who's the coach. Um, Kentucky um, will play tonight. John Wall is a fantastic freshman uh, guard, uh, sort of in the mold of a uh, Derrick Rose from the Bulls, and so we'll check him out. And so what he does basically is he spends all day watching basketball, which sounds like a pretty good gig. For uh, for us, he wrote uh, web updates on Notre Dame um, as the game was going on, and now he's filed his newspaper story, and we'll put that into the Friday editions. Is it? Uh, I saw you guys doing your doing your evening meeting, and you're you're basically filling out brackets just like anybody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's exactly like that because we have to figure out. You know, it's a moving target, and the and there are upsets today, as we saw Murray State knock out Vanderbilt. So, um, you know, if we get teams that we're particularly interested in that are upset or um, cause upsets, um, that will change our plan. And so we have to adjust to the news and stay fluid um, and go where it is. And, and you can't predict it. You know, you have some sense of where things might happen, but you don't know until it happens. And then you adjust and move on. And, and then if Kentucky or Kansas lose or something, we'll stop that. 